Welcome back to uh, my channel. This is John Schaff, and this is my C7 for that channel. For those of you who are still in the market uh, for a Corvette, uh, I'm, I'm out here uh, at the uh, driver's way uh, dealership in Pelham, Pelham, Alabama. Okay, that, one, that one's not for sale. That one is mine right there. But I'm out here at the uh, driver's way uh, at the Pelham, Pelham dealership. Uh, Pelham location of me and they have some uh, C7's uh, still available and that's that's a grand sports right there Uh, you can always tell the Grand Sport. Uh, she always uh, the Grand Sports and the Z06 is basically the same car. Uh, the uh, uh, what, what makes them different from um, my 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 particular uh, model, which is a uh, Steamray uh, uh, base model Steamray, is that they have the uh, ground effects ground effects kit, uh, as you can see uh, to it. But mine, mine does not have the uh, ground effect kits, but it's basically the same car. And the um, the, the uh, Grand Sport and the Z06 have the uh, extra uh, uh, extra wide body uh, to get it to get it to get the uh, vehicles that uh, that are uh, uh, meaner and uh, 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 tough, tough, tougher. Uh, Tougher look, you know, they really have uh, a uh, tough uh, sports car look. And the, the Grand Sport usually uh, has about uh, 10 to 15 more horsepower than the, uh, than the base model. The base model used to be around uh, 455 horsepower. And the uh, Grand Sport. Grand Sport is uh, usually around 400 and uh, 465 horsepower, and uh, brand new, uh, brand new a, a Grand Sport, brand new a Grand Sport C7 model. Uh, it costs you as much as uh, 70, 72 thousand dollars, and then that that depends on the options that's on on the vehicle. And what I mean by that is uh, that depends on whether it's a coupe uh, or if it's a uh, convertible. Because uh, all that uh, plays, plays in on, on the price of uh, on a vehicle also. Look around some more cities I see in the more Corvettes than I hear. I got some news about the uh, about the Corvette Corvette family. I was going to wait and share it with you at a later date, but since I'm out here now and I'm looking at Corvettes, I'm gonna go ahead and share that news with you. Uh, the uh, the Corvette, as we know it, uh, is coming to uh, an end. What I mean by that, the era, uh, the era of the Corvettes is coming to an end. Right, it goes, it goes another nice, uh, nice uh, Grand Sports. It's black with a uh, with red interior. This needs to be cleaned up. This, this hasn't been cleaned up. But yeah, this is a Grand Sport. You can always tell the Grand Sports, and you can always tell when they say. Uh, uh, when it's a uh, L2 model, because only the L2 models uh, have the uh, red interior, which is what I have. Mine's just a L2. And 
again, this is that driver's way, so you guys interested in uh, purchasing yourself one of these vehicles, they still are available. And uh, this is this is automatic here. Yeah, this is automatic. This, this is the same car I have, but mine's just a uh, 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 mine's just a manual. And uh, I just I just can't, can't see myself having a uh, having a uh, sports car. That's a uh, uh, that's a manual. But then again, we we enter into a uh, a new era. Uh, I'm gonna explain to you uh, later on in the video too why the uh, Corvette people uh, decided to uh, uh, decided to uh, do away with the manual and go uh, strictly to automatic. But uh, first, let me explain to you uh, uh, what I meant er uh, earlier in the video when I was saying that the uh, we are not. Uh, no, the era of the Corvette, uh, as we know it, is, is coming to an end. Uh, starting uh, starting uh, September, starting September first, uh, twenty twenty, uh, all uh, all of the Corvette manufacturing people is going to be transferred over. To the uh, Corvette uh, electrical side. Okay, so now you ask why they doing this? Because they doing this because they're gonna they're going to do away with the dry slump uh, engine. There won't be uh, any more uh, 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 C8s, uh, natural uh, uh, muscle muscle car uh, uh, engines. They're all going out to electric, even the damn engine. The cars are already fully electric, but now the engine is going to be electric too. So now we're looking at we looking at the end of an era uh, to a Corvette. Uh, I, I don't know how this is going to work, but they said they can do a whole lot more with a uh, electrical engine uh, uh, than the uh, dry slump dry slump a, a gas engine uh, so yeah uh, the, like, I, like I said the era Corvette era is coming to an end uh, so if you want you a Corvette uh, now's the time to get one uh, uh, the, the Z see the Z the Z28 no, no, excuse me the Z06 the Grand Sports the Toro model uh, they all coming out. Uh, 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 they already uh, 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 in the process of being uh, developed. They probably already got some already, already manufactured. Okay, uh, but they getting ready to switch over, and they're gonna switch over to all electric vehicle Corvette. So I ain't on, ain't on telling what you gonna. After the 2021, ain't gonna no, no tell them what's what they're gonna come up with. Uh, there ain't gonna be no more uh, 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 engine. Uh, 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 it's, it's gonna be something like a like a uh, let's go a uh, uh, hybrid uh, hybrid vehicle. Uh, so that's why I say the era of, uh, of, of the Corvette is coming to an end. And I got this. Uh, I got this news myself. Uh, somebody that's in the uh, uh, somebody that's in the uh, uh, Chevrolet and, and Corvette family. I just put it to you like that. And the reason why they didn't, uh, the reason why they didn't, uh, uh, the reason why they did away with the. Uh, with the manual for the C8 is that uh, uh, the way the vehicle is made uh, the uh, the power uh, the, the torque uh, the mid engine and then it has a trunk because most mid engines don't have a 
a mid-engine back there with a with a trunk and in front and in and in, in the back. Uh, when you have a when you have a a, a, a manual, uh, then you have to uh, what you, you have what you call a tunnel, a tunnel in the in the back of the vehicle. And the tunnel in the back of the vehicle uh, is where the transmission is connected, uh, where the engine is connected to the transmission. And you have to put a hole uh, in, the, in the vehicle. Okay. Uh, uh, and and that's, how you, that's how you connect it. But you don't know that hole is there because it's, 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 it's all in the design of the, of the vehicle. And uh, the Corvette people said they could not find a supplier that was willing to come on board with them uh, and the manufacturer of, this, of the C8 uh, with the uh, power that it has and the torque in the, uh, in, in the trunk. Uh, they they didn't think it, it could be done. So by them not by the, by them not uh, not able to uh, find a supplier or a, a partner uh, to uh, manufacture this, this vehicle, uh, they had to go with an all automatic. And and uh, the only way they, that they could uh, the only way that they could could. Uh, uh, bring you a manual is 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 a uh, paddle shifter, a auto auto paddle paddle shifter. Uh, so what did what this did is it stopped them from uh, having to uh, put a hole in the car. They ain't had to put a hole in the car this time because uh, everything is done now. It's done now by uh, 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 electrical. So that that side that problem is having to put that hole uh, one that run that tunnel. Uh, up under that vehicle, they didn't have to do that this time uh, because it's all electric, and that and thereby giving them giving them way to the uh, to the uh, 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 no no uh, no no more manual no more manual vehicles, and and, and that's why we don't have a, a manual vehicle vehicle coming in the C8, but. Uh, like I said, I guess it really knows the metal since they're getting ready now to do away with the uh, do away with the engine and getting ready to go with the uh, 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 full electric uh, uh, full electric vehicle. So I'm, I'm wondering how that's going to turn out. But as I say, I'm I'm uh, I'm out here at the at drivers away, and I thought I would pass on that information uh, to you uh, about the. Uh, about the C8, and if you do have a C8, you personally have a C8, the uh, software uh, uh, download is, is now available for you to download on your vehicle, uh, so that your vehicle, uh, if if the trunk uh, was to pop up in the front the front trunk, still still letting you drive 84 84 miles an hour. It'll only let you get up to 27 miles now. Uh, thereby, it's a safety features. And, and if it's only going 27 miles an hour, then you know something's wrong. You need, you know, you need to pull over and check the vehicle. So, uh, but that software is now, it's now available. So check out this. Uh, check out this Porsche here. This is a Porsche. Uh, This is the Porsche SUV here. I'm gonna drive us away. So if you guys are interested in the Porsche SUV here, I don't know what year this is. Uh, oh, it's 2008, 2018. Okay, that's a new model Porsche. I don't know. SUV just, just uh, SUV just doesn't just. It doesn't do anything for me, you know. So, I 
I would much rather have a uh, much rather have a uh, a car than have a uh, SUV. They also have a uh, 5.0 Mustang out here. If you want to get yourself a 5.0. Again, this is that driver's way. Uh, Pelham, Pelham location. Off of 65. And that's, that's about 20 miles south of Birmingham. Okay, this is going to be a 2019 model. They don't have the price on it. It looks like it's a standard ship. So those of you that are into the Mustangs, here's your one here. We like the speed on the Mustang, it's 160 miles an hour. Nice little car. <sighs> but yeah, the uh, Corvette era is coming to an end. And uh, so if you don't want to have to deal with a uh, a Corvette that has an electrical engine. Uh, you always want yourself a Corvette. Then I strongly advise that you uh, uh, purchase one real soon. Uh, if you want a new one. Because of the uh, the uh, dry slump engine is going away. And uh, they're going all, it's going to be a complete electrical vehicle. Man, I'm I'm I'm, <laughs> I, I, I'm speechless. Uh, uh, well, I was speechless when I uh, heard about this. Uh, so I don't know. I don't I don't even know now at, at this point if I'm a, if I'm going to get myself a a C8. Uh, if, if I do, it'll be uh, I, I don't know. I guess it'll be a 2020 or 2021. After 2021, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna already they're gonna already start uh, manufacturing the uh, electrical engine. Uh, starting in September, they start selling the first. Uh, their uh, manuf their uh, personnel is gonna be shipped over to the electrical side, electrical side of the plant, and then they're not gonna be doing any any more uh, any more uh, you know present day slump uh, dry slump engines. It's gonna be all electric, and uh, that's that's gonna take take place. Uh, like I said, September, September the first, twenty twenty. So yeah, I'm, I might go to all. I might just go to all new vehicle. Go to all new vehicle if I can't uh, uh, find the uh, the uh, you know Corvette I want because I, I don't know if I, I don't know how you know if I can deal with it with electrical uh, electrical Corvette. That's not a it's not a, it's not a, it's not a real that's not a real a real car a, a, a real uh, a, a, a sports car with a, with a real engine. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. But, uh, <clears throat> hope you enjoyed the contents I brought you tonight. Uh, uh, again, I'm John Chef. Uh, this is my uh, C7, C7 Corvette channel. 
I ask you to hit the like button, share button, and subscribe to my channel. And uh, again, I'm, I'm almost going to express this again. Uh, they're doing away with, with the dry slump engine or the uh, C8 Corvette. And they all the, the vehicle now is going to be a hybrid, uh, hybrid uh, electrical uh, vehicle. And uh, boy, I, I think they're being pressured by the government uh, to put out a better vehicle, um, you know, in the, in the uh, Clean Air Act. Um, but this is this is the word that I uh, that I hear, and, and I got from a very very uh, reliable source. Uh, okay, now, well, I'm John Schaff, and uh, thank you for tuning into my channel. And I will see you in the next upload. Thank you for watching.